I just want to go in and get my shots and back out. That's all I wanted. Okay. So uh, she read the paper that you read, yeah. the lady that had me outside. So then I went back in. Another lady came out, told me her name, but she wouldn't tell me her position. Okay. And uh, hi. <laughs> Uh, just look up pin can or look up our rights. We're definitely a hundred percent totally allowed See, I don't even I don't even want to talk to her like I don't come here to talk to people and I didn't get up in anyone's face So that's a lie. They told you that Good morning everyone and welcome back to the San Joaquin News Network channel today's video comes to you guys by the way of this channel based out of Canada This one is going by the name of Jarv in this video He conducts what we would call here in the US a First Amendment audit in Canada There is something they have called the Charter Rights that protect the rights of the citizens in Canada and just like the US There is no law that prohibits Canadian citizens from filming or photographing photos in a public place I really enjoyed this one because I do believe it's important for people from all over the world to practice these rights Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section down down below the original video and channel link will be down below in the comment section and description thank you guys and i'll see you at the end of the video pull in here a minute later check this out i guess hello Jarvis, is that me? who are you i'm constable kenny what's your position i am a constable here in lower sackville okay cool so uh, how I are you good i guess oh, access great. nova scotia they called us because they were just concerned you being yeah, they was concerned that I was videotaping inside, which is my constitutional right to do. I do okay. I do auditing all the time. I go to police stations, I go to libraries, I go everywhere. Okay. And this is the first time I really had trouble with anybody coming out like that, barking orders at me. Okay. What, Hello, how are you? What's your name? Uh, Chris Graham. Chris Graham? Yeah. Uh, what's your position? I'm with Lower Sackville. I'll be right back with you. Okay, thank you. I was here. I didn't cause any disturbance. I do this all the time. I shoot okay. videos all the time everywhere of government officials, government buildings. Okay. And is I had to put to to it. No, it's education. Actually, okay. actually, I was at the public library here a week ago. Had okay. had the cops called on me there mm -hmm. because they didn't understand people that work for the government. Some of them in the, these government buildings, they don't understand our rights. We can videotape in public. We can videotape any public building. So anyway, when the cops were called the other day on me, they came. We had a nice little chat for yeah. 20 minutes. I wasn't confrontational. I don't cause disturbances or anything like that. I'm professional. So anyway, I get a call the next day from the, uh, just a sec. I'll, I'll... Sure. Yep, so when I left the library the other day, I think it was a day or two later, I got a call. I'm not going to tell you, or I'm not going to say on here what her name is, yeah, but there it is right there. She's up top. She, oh, okay. she was a communication officer of public libraries. She called me up. She supports me in everything I do. She was so glad that I went in there and educated. She sent out memos to all the libraries and HRM stating that I can do that. I'm totally legal to do that. Okay. She encourages me to do that. So I went, they, she sent them a memo and an email saying that it was in my legal right to do that. No problem at all. So I went to uh, the Bedford Library, walked around in there, nice people, nice library. I talked to people there that worked there, yeah. no issue at all. So then I went back to Sackville, yes. the library here, and walked through. Never had another issue. Everybody, hi, how you doing? So they got their memo. This is why I do this, for education purposes. Okay. And apparently the people in here, they're not educated on video filming. Yeah. And here, this one woman, she read this back inside, and then she got this other woman. And she just, you gotta leave, you gotta leave, you gotta leave. And I said, well, I have the law right here in my hand. You can have a look at it. Uh, look at the ones that I have circled, because that's mainly for these buildings. Could you read that out loud, just so people will know? The part that you circled? Yeah, the parts that I circled. Could you just read them out loud, please? It says Charter Right, and then it has in quotations. Oops, sorry. There's absolutely no general law that would prohibit a member of the public from taking video or photographic footage anywhere in a public place. Correct. And it says you sent that. Pardon? It says you sent it? Yeah, I sent it to myself because I went to the library and I, I went online. Like this is Penn Canton or Charter Rights. Yeah. And this one here. Filming in public, you 
Filming in public in Canada is a constitutional right. Taking photographs and videos of things that are plainly visible in public spaces is a constitutional right. And that includes police and other government officials carrying out their duties. I mean, I'm not, I, and, I'm and, not going to disagree with that. I mean, well, thank you. There's the, the only thing that people I think have problems with. They're uncomfortable. That, that's yeah, what, that's and, what it and, is. And they exactly. Not know what are you going to do with that video? Exactly. You know, they, just, they just don't know those things. And, it's, and some so, people live very private lives. And yeah. Maybe they have a private job in the government themselves yeah. and they just don't want their face. They may do undercover work or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the, the, the workers yeah, themselves, like I don't go in and video the public and the workers, if they come up to me, if they don't know, don't know what I'm doing, yeah. all they have to do is ask me. I can completely explain to them what I'm doing. It's just that they don't know the rights, and that's why I do this. It's for educational purposes. Like when the cops were called me the other day, one of the police officers said, we're not used to this. It's the first time we've ever seen this in Lower Sackville. But it's going to happen a lot because there's so many corrupt cops out there, and this is what we're trying to do, put stop the corruption that's out there. We have so many followers on YouTube, so many followers. We're doing the right thing. What's your YouTube? Uh, do you have a card? I'll send you my link. I oh, don't have okay. my link right in my... I'm just curious. It's a, well, it's it's people's rights, but I have a link that you'd have to go into and oh, press okay. on to. But, um, uh, okay. but yeah, I, I'd, I mean, I'd, I'd send you the, send you them in, if... Uh, in terms of us, like, yeah. of course, like, yes, you're right, you can film. Exactly. Um, the only thing that we ever... What we're going to ask is if, mm -hmm. you know, if we're in an investigation or it's a motor yep. vehicle collision or what have you, right. just to keep your distance. You yeah, know, I know. The, with investigation, I actually right? know all that. Yeah. I know you're explaining it to me, but I know the law. That's like, I, I could be a lawyer. Could we just walk up here a minute? Sure. Could we just explain to them that I'm allowed to do this well, so they don't get part, nervous? Well, partner's in there right now. Okay. So we'll let him have a conversation because they just may not want you here. Yeah. Um, and if that's the case, they may ask that you not return. Yeah, but they can't do that unless I do something well, illegal. They can, they can do a, like a protection of property act. They can under they can under what uh under what law? It's it's not it's not criminal. It's, it's prejudice. No protection of property act. Uh, do I look like I'm gonna hurt anything? No, but they, they, <laughs> but again, like well, I like, personally, if I was sitting here, you know, trying to get sorry, mm -hmm. if I was sitting here, you know, a customer trying to get. <clears throat> my uh <coughs> just me. get my registration i wouldn't want to be filmed yeah right i agree 100 percent with that like if, if i was sitting in there someone come in with a video camera i kind of feel uncomfortable right. thinking what are they doing but this is why we do this so people will know this is going to become normal people's going to be videotaping say if you go to a car show or a concert or something yeah. like that right you're videotaping everything yeah. nobody's coming up oh don't videotape me don't videotape me but once you walk in a government office yeah they come right at you which is legal for us to do totally legal for us to do it's legal it's just it's just out of the norm right exactly yeah. that's why someday it's going to be can't become the normal and then you guys won't be called wasting your time like the, the cops were called wasted their time coming to the library mm -hmm. the other day like it was a waste of time they call you out and say there's a guy here videotaping yeah. all you guys got to do is say well is he causing any disturbance is he doing anything criminal no well okay then he's just videotaping and and that's going to become the normal I think the, the main concern here was that the report was that you were getting into people's faces to video. I them. never went into anybody's face. There was a lady that came up into my face that brought me outside, okay. and then she. I, uh, was it a worker or like a. No, it was a worker. Okay. Like, I never went to anybody in public into their face at all. I was nowhere near anybody. I didn't even want to talk to anybody. I just wanted to go in and get my shots and back out. That's all I wanted. Okay. So uh, she read the paper that you read, yeah. the lady that had me outside. So. Then I went back in, another lady came out, told me her name, but she wouldn't tell me her position. Okay. And, uh, hi. <laughs> uh, just look up Penn can or look up our rights. We're definitely 100% totally allowed. See, I don't even I don't even want to talk to her. Like, I don't come here to talk to people. And I didn't get up in anyone's face, so that's a lie. They told you that. So that's, so, that's exactly what I'm explaining. Yeah. Like, you're going you're gonna to get that. I right? know. I know because this. people, if, like I said, I wouldn't want mm -hmm. to film either because, yeah. you know, people I work with, we have undercover jobs. Yeah. Right? So you could be showing, like, say, you know, someone's undercover. Yeah. And now you just kind of gave away who they are. Or is that, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the the normal the, 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 the normal public people there's no there's no uh, expectation of privacy in public. It's not it's not necessarily. And they just the it's their feelings. It it's all just, is it's feelings. It's just common decency, right? Like common sense says. I that wouldn't people film. Generally, don't want to be filmed if, if there's no reason, right? Just coming into a building and filming people. Yeah. People are gonna get pretty irate about it. Yeah, but they don't. It doesn't make sense. But they don't if you're outside in public. It, it's mostly just government buildings. 
And this, <laughs> this is this is education. This is why we do it. Like we don't do it to come in to cause any disturbances. We know we're going to run into people, and they're going to have feelings about it. They're going to be yeah. they're going to feel awkward and everything. Yeah, get, from my but, perspective, yeah. And I, I think of everything, right? Yeah. So what if someone's in witness protection? You know. And you just, and like you said, you're gonna post this. And then well, if you're, so if, many if, you're not thinking about. A lot of the tendencies you guys are seeing this officer display are the exact same tendencies cops display here in the U.S. And that's using the silly excuse of paranoia. The thought of feelings and ego being more important than facts and law have seemed to have grown worldwide. And the U.S. has seemed to have a major problem with that. But I do gotta give it to this constable here for being so cordial. She definitely showed a lot more patience than I think a lot of U.S. LEOs would. Canada does not have a First Amendment, but they do have a constitution and what they call charter rights. The original premise of a First Amendment the audit was to go inside publicly funded areas to document what happens inside these facilities. And just like the U.S., there is no law that says Canadian citizens are not allowed to do this. Keep watching. If you're in witness protection, it don't matter. If you're in witness protection and you're out in the public, there's films everywhere. There's yeah, films people, here. People there's films are, everywhere. Yeah, access security, you know, and typically those people are not going to be put in positions where they. Well, can if you're be walking down the street, say, say if I'm walking down the street, I walk by McDonald's or somebody in in, in that situation. Right, and I'm walking down. I video them. I put it online. How am I supposed to know that person's in? Exactly, but everyone, everyone has private lives, right? Exactly. So and that's why they don't want to be filmed. And these people that work in these buildings, they're all upset and all that about it. I would be too. Honestly. But but uh, they they should get a different job if they don't want to work in the public and well, be. It's, it's not that they don't want to work in the public. <laughs> it's just that some random guy comes in. They have no idea. Yeah. Who they have, mm -hmm. You say you're educating them and you're filming, but mm -hmm. you know, I are you casing the place, right? Are you, they yeah. have no idea. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why they get a little nervous because yeah. are you going to come rob them later? Well, that's are why, you that's do why, something to someone that works there? This, you is, never know. this is why there's going to be so much more of this. Us auditors, there's thousands and thousands of us, and we're educating people every day, just like the library. We edu I educated them the other day. I want to educate this building. I do buildings, I don't do people. Yeah. People come up to me, that's on them, not me. People, you're going to get people. So oh yeah, room, definitely. That's that's part of it. If they if that's part of it, if they walk by, I don't film people on purpose. Like the guy in there, he turned around, he started barking at me, saying, "Oh, don't film me!" And I'm gonna see if you put me on video on on video and on the network and everything like that. I didn't. He should have never said a word. I wouldn't even talk to him. Like there's people like that. This is why we're trying to teach people. So if we don't have people like that when we walk into a building. But why, why would you guys, like, I, I'm just curious. I, I truly don't understand why this is. That's, I know, you guys, I you guys don't understand. But no, I, don't, I don't. Eventually, you just will understand. It's, I already told you, we're trying to educate government officials. There's so much corruption all through the government, not just police officers, everywhere. And we're educating the whole system is what we're doing. But if, so say you're investigating corruption. Yeah. What on earth could these guys be doing that you're going to catch on film? Well, they come up to me and say, you can't do this, you can't do that. They sure. Apparently, apparently they don't know the law. And if they're going to work in a place like this, they should know the law. Well, whether you know the law or not, they're not going to want someone filming. Well, that's But again, to them, like, if, like you yeah. said, if, if the point of this is for government mm -hmm. officials and being corrupt, you know, mm -hmm. corruption, then you filming them is not going to... Actually, I was up to the... Them. How you doing? Was you? Uh, I was up to your police department here in Lower Sackville. Yes, I know. And you walked in there, you took my uh, plate, and then you run away. Like all you had to do was tell me your name. You was in such a hurry that day. It wasn't me. Oh, it wasn't you? Oh, I'm, I, I've I'm never sorry. Met I, you. I, 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 I apologize. She looked just like you. I'm sorry. Well, the thing is, is that that's especially, you know, for us, that's concerning mm -hmm. because we do have incidences where people come. A yeah. lot of people, you know, if they don't like the police, they're gonna they make threats yeah, all the time. How many how many people are gonna come threaten the cops and have video camera in their hand? Who, uh, we've had no, people come to the detachments that have done something, right? With video cameras not and video, video camera with weapons. So with we, weapons, so we not assume, this isn't a weapon. That's my point. This no. this camera isn't a weapon. So us, most we normal people that. will not go into a police op office with a camera and guns and threaten you guys. They're not going to do that. We have a camera. Well, we have no guns. What people do. Yeah, but you just said yourself that they walk in there with guns, no cameras, just a gun. But the, the point is that <laughs> we see you filming the place. When we see that, we think you're casing. We think yeah. you're going to do something, right? Oh, I know. So I know. on our next array. I know. As is these guys. They're probably assuming something. you're going to yep. do something later. But me walking in here, that does not trump my right that I cannot do that legally. 
I'm not doing anything yeah, illegal. I'm not arguing that point at all. Thank you. Thank you. My point is that these like people I should, don't want to be filmed. I don't blame them. I, mean, I don't think this is necessary. But I, I, mean, I went in to take pictures of the wall and stuff like that. I wasn't engaged myself with anybody. And then that woman came out just freaking read out at me. And then the other woman, she told me her name. And then she wouldn't even talk to me. I said, she wanted me to leave. I said, uh, I asked her a couple more questions. She wouldn't answer me. So I said, well, are the police coming? If the police are coming, I'll wait for them. If they're not coming, I'll go outside. Like I said, I'll go, I'll come right outside. It's what she wanted me to leave. I said, I will leave. Just tell me if the cops are called or not. She wouldn't answer another question. So uh, that's all she had to do. And then everybody else in there would have been very calm. If she said she called you guys, I would have come outside, waited for you. Because I don't want you to go looking for me because it's something like this. And she would not answer me. So I said, well, I'll just come outside. I'll wait a few minutes. If you guys want to come to my house, come come see me at my house. But I can come back here and I can still go inside and film. Like, I got other things to do today. Right now, I can go back in there and film with you. And there's nothing they can do about it. I can't well, help it if people feel uncomfortable. If they do, if they do want to PPA you, they do have the right to do that. What they is, don't need. A, they don't necessarily. You don't have to do destruction or anything like that. If they, if they don't want you on the property because they feel it's unsafe. They what? Can do that. Could you say that again? Their, their property. This is government paid property that the tax people pay for. But it's and the you're. Same as like Solvay, it's right? the same as the police station when I was in it the other day. You the can PPA from a police station. Yeah, I know, but the guy said this is private. I know for a fact the police stations aren't private. I know the law. And then he once said it was his place, like it's his own sanctuary. And I'm like, this is private. The government pay, or the people pay for this. The people pay your salary. They pay. I pay more taxes than most people that complain about that. Oh, I pay a lot of tax too. You have so, no trust idea. Me, I, I don't care about the who pays whose salary yeah. at this rate. But like, like it's just an example of these private places. I wouldn't walk into a par private place. I go to government buildings to film the building. That's all I do. And now that the library's done that, you guys have came here. Next time you get a call on me. You should just say, well, is he doing anything illegal? Is he causing disturbance? You won't have to come waste your time. You guys could be out there. Well, like, the, the hard part is, is that what we hear is happening is not always what actually happens, right? So yeah, and that's why the camera don't lie. Sure, but at the same time. But even she lied to you said I was going up in people's faces. That's a flat-out lie. I got it on camera. Well, I'm assuming what she saw is the confrontation of you and that man when he said he doesn't want and to And he, he was sitting way down there. I was nowhere near his face. He's the one to turn around, like, way down there. Like, probably, I don't know, 15, 20 feet away from me. I weren't in his face. Like she said, she said, I'm up in people's faces. That's a flat out lie. That's another reason why I do this. So, okay. anyway, um, I just want to end my story. Uh, do you guys got anything more to do today? Yeah, here? actually, we're, we're, my partner's not done just yet. <clears throat> okay. Once he's off the phone, we'll see what the, what's happening here. So, I'm being detained? You're not detained, no. Okay. We'll see you later. But if, if they do PPA you, then just, just know you can't come back here. You know, there's a possible fine, okay? <laughs> for what? What's the fine for? If you end up being PPA'd, and then you come back to now, the station. Now you're starting to violate my rights. Uh -huh. Yes, you are. No. Yeah. That's why if you wait. I'm going to get a fine if I come back to a public place and I'm, I'm allowed into. I'm not saying you're PPA'd at this point. <laughs> I said if. If. So what's up, bud? What's up? Uh... Well, I ain't all got right, all day. I'm leaving. If I'm if I'm not okay. being detained, I'm leaving. Yep. Thank you. I just wish you guys would educate them. She'll tell you exactly what I said to her. I know there's people in there that are nervous because I got a camera. There's cameras all over this place. And I, I understand. I even told her if I was sitting in there, I'd kind of be nervous. Some guy come in. But I'm doing it for educational purposes. Okay. Like, she'll tell you all about it. Uh, That's fine. I'll, I'll talk to her about it. It's okay. Good. Well, I'm, okay, okay? I'm done. You guys have a great day. Take care. Yep, you too. Wow. That was interesting. <laughs> Go ahead and let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section down below. Do you guys believe it's important or even necessary to practice these rights? I absolutely think so. It seems like many places all over the world have gotten this silly idea where their feelings trump laws. You guys heard the officer state the law earlier in the video that says he is allowed to record and later on using feelings as an excuse to say he isn't. Make sure you guys go show some support with the links in the description down below. Don't forget to let him know San Joaquin News Network sent you and I'll see you guys on over there in his comment section. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe as well as the bell notifications for future content if you haven't already. Thank you guys and I'll catch you on the next one.